Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to my full overview of the Western Digital MyCloud EX4100 with the MyCloud OS 3.0. And before we start, a big thanks goes out to Western Digital for actually sponsoring this video. So with the MyCloud series of products, Western Digital makes it possible to create your very own cloud to store your data on hardware that belongs to you. And there's a big variety of MyCloud devices to choose from and they start from as low as $140 for the MyCloud with 2 terabytes of storage on Amazon.com. Now to set up the MyCloud, it is very easy. You basically just need to enter the IP of the drive that's displayed in the display of the device itself in your browser that's connected on the same network and then you have a very simple setup guide where you basically just need to uh, put in your password and then you're ready to go as the admin. Now, the MyCloud products are so-called NAS systems, so that means network attached storage. So they are basically like a server and this means that you don't connect them directly via USB to your computer, but you just use Ethernet to connect it to your router and then you can access the files on this device from all the devices in basically your home network whether they are running Mac OS or Windows that doesn't really matter so it's also great to just use it as a centralized storage to access for example video files from your Mac and your PC. Now in this video I'm going to show you the MyCloud EX4100 which is part of the expert series of Western Digital and it features a total of 16 terabytes of storage running in RAID 5 for data security and 11.8 terabyte of available storage and on the EX4100 you can also extend the storage via USB ports. Now you can't only access all the files that you find here on this drive from your local Wi-Fi network but also when you're on the go for example using the Western Digital MyCloud app that's available for free for Android or iOS in their respective app stores or also of course from any web browser on a laptop, PC or Mac. Thanks to DLNA it's also possible to stream your content straight from the MyCloud for example to your TV so this works perfectly with my LG Blu-ray player. It finds the MyCloud instantly and then I can just click on the files to stream them. If you prefer Plex Media Server for example then you can just download the Plex app to the MyCloud and then it also works as a Plex Media Server. The same also goes for example as an iTunes Media Server or also of course for Time Machine backups. When we then take a look at the web interface of the MyCloud by just typing in the IP address in any browser, then we get to the home tab and we see, for example, the capacity of 11.8 terabytes. Also that we have, for example, 3.54 gigabytes of movies and almost 280 megabytes of photos on this drive. We also, of course, see the device itself, which is the X4100. And we also see the diagnostics, so that's healthy and that we have the current or latest firmware installed. We also, of course, see the network activity and that we have two cloud devices connected, two users and five apps installed. When we then move over to the users, we can see that I created two users. So the first one is the admin user. That's, of course, me because I'm managing this entire MyCloud system. And then we also have a family account which enables my family to access certain photos that I want to share with them. For example, if we have a wedding or a birthday, then I can just upload the files strictly to this family folder and my family can access those, but they aren't able to see all the other files. For example, my videos that I have here on the MyCloud, which is also great. Continuing on to shares, which is the next menu, then we'll see, of course, the admin folder right here and other folders like Time Machine Backups. And there we can also choose, for example, here with the family folder, if it's public, so if anybody can see it or who can see it. So it's very easy to manage who can see what files and if they can also just edit them or just view them. So that's also quite important and very easy. Next up, we can then manage the cloud access. So whether you can access actually uh, the MyCloud from on the go or if you don't want to enable this then we also have a menu with backups for example for time machine backups moving on to the storage menu we then see for example the different rates that we can use and I chose rate 5 for good data security as well as capacity 
And then one of the last aspects here in the menu is the app section. And then we also see the Plex media server that I just installed. Last but not least, we then basically see all the settings right here, uh, which is where you can just, for example, update the firmware and just configure the MyCloud to your liking. Now, the biggest advantage of the MyCloud system, in my opinion, is that you can access your files from anywhere, from any platform. So I can access my photos, my videos, my documents from my Alienware with Windows 10. I can access them with my MacBooks, with my Mac Pro, with my Android smartphones, my iPhone, my iPad, and it's all just very easy. And the same also goes not only in your local network, but also if you're straight across the world, I don't know, in the US or even in Australia. If you're a thousand miles away, you can still access everything and you're just very flexible and have all the documents that you need right there with you without actually having to store them on your device that you're currently using. And this will also end my overview of the MyCloud EX4100 with the MyCloud OS 3. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of these products in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this. And I hope to see you soon. See you next time.